We begin with one which is in the name of the founder, that's Jim Richardson's award, which is the AWT Honorary Award. And the nominees were Julia Lugusi, Advantage Travel Service Centres, Lindsay Garvey Jones, Holiday Extra, Lucy Huxley, Travel Weekly, Glynis Jeffrey, Elegant Hotels Group, Petra Roach, Barbados Tourism Party. And the winner is Lucy Huxley of Federation. And she's nominated for the following. For her commitment to the travel industry as a whole, her long-term support of AWTE and the other businesses. She's a dedicated, hard-working, knowledgeable individual from editorial to actually finding stories, interviewing the hoi polloi of the travel industry, and even moderating huge conferences. Lucy is showing that even in a very male-dominated sector, which we know the press uh, can be, you can shine and stand out as a determined, talented, and useful female juggling career and family in your stride. Congratulations. The next award is the Business Impact Award. And the nominees were Lucy Huxley of Travel Weekly, Sarah Marshall Parker of Flight Center, and Jane Stuart Palikira of Eonian Weddings. And the winner is Jane Stuart Palikira. From a company that celebrated her first bride's wedding in 2008, and that's only five years ago, helped along a little bit with Mamma Mia, the Abba movie. They now celebrate in early 2014 their thousands wedding. That's not bad. Operating in four countries, Jane is the driving force in developing the business, has a sharp eye on the market and comes up with many ideas for innovative, exciting wedding packages, such as the Fifty Shades of Grey inspired wedding, the San Francisco Cloisters and the in, in, in Villa in Sorrento where Piers Brosnan filmed Love is All You Need, to mention a few. The business continues to grow and prosper and has been recognized by other businesses across sectors of industry for being a company award of choice. It's the new award called Company Award. And the nominees were Advantage Travel Centers, Chisholm and More Executive Recruitment and Travel Weekly. And the winner is Advantage Travel Center. Over the past few years, under the chairmanship of recently resigned John McHugh, John over there, Advantage has worked hard to build a strong team that provides opportunities for both its male and female staff, and has proactively supported promising and talented women. The most visible example is Julia Lubui Said, who, with the company's encouragement, mentoring, and guidance, rose to board director role and only the other week took the mantle of managing director. Advantage helps to develop their members' businesses. They have an equitable, friendly organization that values staff skills and talents. And it's keen to support their women in new opportunities, including those that may be, may, that may be slightly left feet. Congratulations, Advantage Travel Centers. And uh, Julia is not here tonight, as you might have noticed. She's actually on a board meeting in Guernsey. And she was so sad when I wrote her, said you'd be nominated. However, I'm going to keep the award here and we present it to Julia at another opportunity. The board has also decided this year to introduce a lifetime membership award. And this 
we will do for the very first time to an outstanding woman in the travel industry. And it gives me great pleasure to ask Chris Brown to come up and receive the very first one. Thank you to you for year 2013. And now we are going to have pudding and then afterwards Christmas. Thank you.